After being super cold in Asangate, we decided to go from 14,000 feet to 600 feet into the Amazon basin. The variety is the spice of life, so we decided to make it very picante. <laughs> We're going from the deep valleys and tall mountains to flat, 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 flat. <laughs> we made it to Puerto Maldonado. It's a pretty big jungle area, pretty hot, with lots of Peruvian tourists, bugs. Yep, we're in the jungle again. <laughs> it's pretty humid, but that's actually very welcoming after how dry and sunny it was in Osongate and the Andes Mountains. We're at a jungle lodge here on the river Tambupata. It's pretty cheap to stay here. We have an outdoor bathroom and shower, lots of fruit trees, papaya, oranges, jamaica, and of course bananas. We have been wandering around looking for a tour to get deeper into the jungle. The jungle is very thick and it's unfortunately really hard to drive into to see any of the animals and wildlife. These tours are going down the river Madre de Dios, goes to a lake where there should be some sea otters. You like the Amazon sombre? She's already seen a million lizards. What are those things, huh? Most of the tours are from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. and that's a little bit too long to leave the pets inside the van. You can't really bring pets on these tours because of the animals. Grammy, what do you think of the Amazon, little buddy? Wow, he's impressed. We're really loving this little lodge that we found. It has a nice area for hanging out as well as a kitchen area so that the van doesn't get super duper hot and a lot of bugs in it from leaving the doors open. A lot of the areas also have bug nets, which is really nice. So we haven't gotten too many bug bites. There's plenty of places to hang out and it has been a really good place to experience some of the jungle that we've already seen. We found a little lake next to the lodge that also has caimans in it. Somebody does want a leash, don't worry. <laughs> <Pedrico>. <laughs> I'm very excited to bring you guys along on a tour that Danny found. We can bring Sombrita and Graham and it's gonna be three days, two nights, 40 minutes boat ride down a river into the jungle. Buena chica. Sombrita and Graham can hang out there while we're doing some fun stuff and then we can let them out while we're there. It should be a lot safer way to experience the jungle with our pets. Here in Puerto Maldonado, we also weren't able to find a veterinarian to watch Sombrita and Graham. The best option we have. <laughs> After having the pets on Asongate trek, we're so excited to also bring them along on this river tour that we're doing. It's so funny how many places that we've brought these guys. So we brought you guys here to the eco lodge we're staying in the jungle, Lago Sandoval. So yeah, we took a boat for about 45 minutes over to this eco lodge. Sombrita has been able to run around because there's no dogs. We haven't seen any animals here at the lodge yet. Graham's getting to know the room. We're setting him up with yeah. litter. We got a carton from the grocery store yesterday for his box. And you know, he's got his food and everything. It's pretty big. It's well enclosed because of the bugs anyhow. This way they don't have to be in the van. And you might be surprised to hear that the temperature is actually pretty cold. First couple of days here were up to 90, like super humid and hot, which is what we wanted after the mountains. This ain't bad, you know, to be able to check out the Amazon. <laughs> that of being super super blazing hot. Yeah. <laughs> I think some breathers has already gone in the lake or in the river. Oh she wet? Yeah. When did she do that? Oh no. <laughs> she not get eaten by a caiman. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh my gosh. So let's take grandma out for a walk. Just kinda of chilling, waiting for the first activity and lunch. So let's see what Grant thinks of this uh, Amazon far from the road. <laughs> Let's go play. Thank you. 
Graham got a little spooked while they were cooking, but he ran just all the way back to the room where all this stuff is, which is so funny that he knows exactly where to go. We didn't even have to do anything. We didn't have to touch him or anything. We just had to open the door and he went right in. You wanna play pool? We made sure Graham and Sombrita are all good in the room while we go on a kayaking trip over to a monkey island. Super excited. There hasn't been a Vanderson's monkey sighting since Costa Rica, I think. A bag of water inside our waterproof bag. <laughs> so this is the Mother of God River, Madre de Dios which is also the state of Peru, the most biodiverse in the country. This flows into the Amazon River, 1800 kilometers downstream, maybe a thousand miles. If that gives you some idea how enormous the Amazon must be. These monkeys aren't native to this island. People have put them there. Since people put them there, they're more habituated to humans. The monkeys are used to see people, huh? A lot of monkeys. That's cool. The vines are so different. sugar baby or something. They have this pet here. I have never seen something like this. Oh, and he comes at you. He's a, he wants to make friends or bite friends. I don't know. <laughs> oh, lingo. Animals are always a bit easier to spot at night because that's when they're most active. So we're heading out on a boat at night to try and catch a couple Cayman pictures. Four thirty a.m. Time to go wildlife spotting. Early, early. Lake Sandoval, the main hot spot here in Puerto Maldonado, and Graham is ready to go. <laughs> Not going. Emily said he found some monkeys at three a.m. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a nature preserve. They don't let you go, my boy. But it's nice he could stay here in the lodge, and we'll be back at eleven a.m. Good morning! Today we have a big day. We're heading over to Lago Sandoval. It's only a five minute boat ride and then we're gonna go on a three kilometer walk. We're gonna do a rowboat from the hike into the lake. There are no motorboats a lot in the lake, so it should be really peaceful. And I'm excited to go. It's super early.
Wow, so back here in the room, Graham's just been hanging out in here. Oh, so Rita is lovesick to see us. Oh, she's <laughs> such a good girl though. Yeah, yes, she the is. Best. Best. <laughs> oh, que pasó? Let's go get Emma. Best cat in the world, Graham the van cat. Explores the Amazon. Oh, what are you gonna do next? You are so funny. Just some chamomile. He loves it. Gonna go take a walk through the jungle at night. We'll be able to see more animals this way, hopefully. With our lights, you can kind of try and shine it in their eyes and that will help be able to see. Do they jump? No, no. Jump. Okay. <laughs> So this morning we decided that we're going to go on an independent jungle walk, the one that we did last night. And there were some people over here that saw some monkeys, so we're hoping that we can see the monkeys that they just saw, even if they got deeper into the forest. But this will probably be the last time I chat until we're done because I'm going to try and be super duper quiet so that we can see some animals. Not much out here. <laughs> Watch out for those animals. So it is really, really hard to capture the spider. I'm gonna capture you. It's a golden orb spider and it is right on the trail. Senor. Let's go all the way back to the start. <laughs> yeah, because the lodge is right there. And we have to pass this guy to get right there. Okay, this is your chance to be Spider-Man. Oh my God, it totally moved when you went down there. No. Just a little teeny bit. Oh my god. I don't know about this. I don't know about this. Oh my god, it totally moved. Oh totally. Alright, you guys, regardless of the piranhas, <laughs> parasites, what have you, I just think it's an instinct that when you come upon a body of water, you want to swim in it, even if it's a muddy, huge, brown Amazon river. Maybe it's a rite of passage. I think it's an imperative, certainly my family. No matter how cold, we like to jump in. My uncle says it adds years of your life every time you jump in cold water. percent recommend swimming in this river. <laughs> the last thing we're doing on this exciting Amazon trip before heading back to the van is a nature walk around the lodge. So apparently this is a food source here in the jungle. <laughs> Let's try it out. <laughs> Looks gooey. It actually tastes like fruit. Como fruta. Mmm. It's in this right here. Mm. Cut it in half with a machete. <laughs> Thanks so much for heading to the Amazon with us. If you like this video, please share it. If you'd like to support us a bit more, head over to our Patreon and we'll see you next time.